It is understood that resources for executive security duties will be limited. In most situations, the security may only consist of the person driving the executive and two or perhaps only one security person. If resources are limited, the need for a good security advance is even more important. If a security advance has been conducted, the sole security person with the executive will have a better understanding of the environment, scheduled activities, on-site resources, along with important contact information. If at all possible, a minimum of security persons involved in any major event should include a dedicated security driver, person at the site who has conducted the advance, and an executive security person with the executive. As required, other security can be supplemented by in-house or contract security. A security advance of a site to be visited by an executive eliminates walking blindly into an environment. The advance is a framework where potential risks may be identified. The movement of the executive is calculated against the environment being visited and obstacles to a successful event are reduced. The advance will require the support and cooperation of others who are involved in planning the event are conducting the meeting. Security advances should be conducted for most events. A meeting within the corporate headquarters may require some advance work such as ensuring only authorized persons have access to the meeting or a countermeasure sweep has been conducted to make sure proprietary information is not intercepted. Meetings in other cities or overseas are more complicated and will require coordination and support from the local host. These meetings will bring unique situations to the advanced activities and may require the use of outside resources to secure the locations being visited. Advanced security procedures and arrangement should be put into a written report and provided to supporting security personnel. It should contain adequate instructions for security personnel supporting the protection of the executive. This not only serves as information for the current visit, but can be reviewed if later visits are made to the same location. The geographic location to be visited will assist in identifying information on any type of criminal activity in the area or previous incidents which may impact security. Contact an ongoing liaison with the event planners and sponsor will make sure that the itinerary and any changes are provided and incorporated into the security plan. Any law enforcement or other private security support should be determined and contact made with those agencies. If police support is not being provided it is wise to make contact with a local police agency and inform them of the visit. They should also be provided with security contact information in case they received any information which might impact the visit. An overall risk assessment to include crime information, fire history, event history should be conducted and will assist in determining the level of security which is required. If there is a security director for the site, they should be contacted and the entire itinerary and related information should be exchanged. If at all possible, they should be an integral part of your advanced procedures. If a previous visit has been made to the location and a security advance conducted, that report should be reviewed. However, care must be made to not totally rely on this report for the advance, as conditions may have changed since the last visit. The previous report should only be used as a good starting point for the advance. This is a partial list of persons who should be contacted and can usually provide good information to assist in the security advance. The meeting host is a must, as they will have details regarding the event. 
The building manager should be able to supply information regarding the event, the resources used to put the event on, and any previous incidents of security interest. However, don't overlook that they may withhold some information of a prior incident in fear that the event could be canceled or moved. It is always wise to check with other sources. The facility manager or engineer is a very good source as they know the inside workings of the facility. I describe this as making contact with a person with the biggest key ring as they know the facility and can get you into most site locations. The bellhop and doorman can be of great assistance during the arrival and departure. In many situations this person is the one who controls the arrival and departure point. They also have good contacts with local police working in the area. Hotel room and service personnel will need access to the executive's room and or meeting locations. They need to be identified in advance and arrangements made to identify them through a checklist or perhaps by providing them with some form of visible identification. Of course any police presence in the arrival area, meeting rooms, need to be informed of the event. Usually the visiting site security person will have good contacts with these officers.